Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Tashwita Gupta, your ACCA mentor. So today we are going to look at ACCA's SBR September 2024 attempt. And that is what our target is, isn't it? So what are we supposed to do in the remaining 45 days to make sure that we pass this paper in the next attempt without any default? So you've got your results of June attempt. So if you are a student who has already given SBR and are resitting this paper, this video is for you. If you are a student who has picked up SBR after results, maybe you passed your AA paper or F9 paper, and now you're planning to give SBR from scratch in September, then also this video is for you. And if you're a student who started well in time, but as usual procrastinated, was not able to complete the syllabus or follow a proper plan, and then also this video is for you. So in this video, we're going to discuss our 45 days plan. Okay. So I'll give you a detailed planner, which you can also download from the description box as to how you can complete your syllabus in 45 days, each topic and at what date you have to complete it. So all my students who are enrolled in my post result batches, even they are going to follow the same kind of uh, schedule. So you are also going to follow the same plan. I'll only give like I'll tell them, okay, if you've done this from the, uh, from the recordings, you have to watch this relevant live class. So if you're a self study student, make it obvious if I've written that do this from recordings then you don't have recordings if i've written do this from this live class you don't have the access to the live class because you're self-studying right but rest of the plan remains same so let's see what our planner looks like okay so here is the plan sbr 45 days plan here i've given you the topics like which topics you have to complete uh, recordings means my paid students, the post result batch students will be referring to the recordings of these relevant topics from the portal on these dates. Live class. Now, all the people who are enrolling in post result batch, you guys have the option to watch the recording of these classes. Three live classes have already taken place. Okay. So, you will obviously have to watch the recording of this, which will be made available on the portal itself. These three classes are yet to happen, but as per this plan, you won't be able to watch them live because live class number four is going to happen on this coming weekend. Uh, but you will be done with this syllabus by 27th of July, which is next to next weekend. So that means it's difficult for you to settle for uh, live classes. So you'll also watch the recordings of these live classes. Then, ma'am, what's the need to enroll? We are not getting access to live classes. Uh, are we not able to see you in live classes? You would. You'll complete this whole set by 8th of August and you will join the normal course, regular course students, the normal batch students on 8th of August. So all of us are going to meet live for Super 20 sessions, which will start from 12th of August approximately. So from 12th till 19th of August, we will have our uh, Super 20 live sessions for three hours every day. This is tentative dates. They are yet to be finalized. You will be given this plan uh, in the first week of August. So we are going to meet for uh, Super 20 questions, for marathon sessions, for grand revision sessions. All that is going to be live as well. So just the syllabus portion, just the conceptual portion you have to cover by recordings because that's what I call a smarter way. Now, if you ask me that, ma'am, I'm self-studying, is that not a smarter way? It is also a smarter way. But in self-study also, come on, there are so many free resources I have on my YouTube channel uh, where you are watching this video. There are grand revisions where I've covered IFRSs in detail, like, you know, in a fast track revision. So you have to use the smarter resources to cover the syllabus rather than going and getting the data from the primary source. So you're not supposed to like, you know, do it from the very first hand and go and bang your head on the Kaplan text and find the information from there and then analyze it, revise it, learn it, then practice it. Let the tutor, that could be a paid class, that could be a free resource, that could be a YouTube video, okay? Let the tutor come up and give you the concept together with it, give you a past paper question together with it, give you a TYU from your Kaplan text. That would make your life way, way too easy. Okay, so that's my way of saying smarter approach to studies. 
so all the self study students in the coming two days today is 17th of july so you have to make sure that you cover uh, the non current assets which covers all is 16 is 5 is 36 is 38 is 20 is 23 blah 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 all these non current assets you have to cover by 19th of july maximum okay you have done this in fr now you might feel that ma'am this this plan is too tight and too hectic to follow but then come on dude you've started late so when you start late you need to compromise on some things you have to compromise on your social gatherings you have to compromise on your social life you have to compromise uh, on procrastination okay so you have to be on time now whatever mistakes you've done in the previous quarter you have to totally avoid them now so from 17th to 19th July, you will cover the uh, non-current assets, including conceptual framework and IFRS 13. Then IFRS 15, revenue, leases, financial instruments, cover it till 23rd July. So you have four days for that. IFRS 9 is the most difficult standard in the whole syllabus. So that has to be covered in four days as well. If you are a paid student, watch the recordings of these sessions at 1.5 times the speed. And while watching the recordings, make sure you make your own notes or, you know, you try to make a table. I'm not saying that handwritten notes or something like that. I've already attached the notes on the portal with each lecture. But try to make some kind of table to memorize. Like, I don't know if you've seen that video of Sumedha. Uh, she was a top scorer from our batch of June. She got 87 in SPR and I just interviewed her yesterday. And she told that how she used to make notes along with the lectures, uh, which included small tables and, you know, some kind of uh, crisp points, which she can revise just a day before the exam. So, of course, you have to use that. Then IFRS 2, IS 19, IS 12, uh, you have to cover by 27 July. 2nd August, you have to cover the group accounts. Then the small standards, current issues, etc. by 7th August. So, mainly if I talk about an overall target, I have not given you daily plan, even though uh, for the students who are enrolled with me, you are going to get on 8th of August, you will get an ultimate planner. So, usually I share it on the YouTube also, if you want to use it freely also, you can. So, in ultimate planner, I give you an exhaustive plan of revision that each day, these are the questions you have to practice from your kids. So, I give you the super 20 question list and I also give you everyday question practice list. So, that becomes very, very exhaustive and uh, very important as well. Many students pass by just using those resources as well. So, you will get that. But uh, overall concept is that our target is to complete the concepts by 7th of August. So, that from 8th of August, we can wholly and solely start the practice. Now, you might ask me that ma'am, till here... Are we supposed to not touch the kit? You are supposed to touch the kit. So, my students are enrolled with me. You will get the question practice. See, see if I've explained you IFRS 9, of course. I will take up a live class regarding or there would be a recording on your portal regarding a practice question, which will be from past paper exam standard question. Not just one, maybe two, three, four. Depends upon the concept, how famous that concept is. So, you will get that. Now, the students who are self-studying, I think you can refer to page number 19 of your Kaplan kit. It tells you topic-wise bifurcation of the uh, questions. So, if I have to see your questions basically just on group accounts or just on IFRS 2, I can find it in the index page, page number 19. Okay, so you can do that if you are a self-study student. The paid students, you know how it works. So, this is basically what you will be doing for the next 45 days, okay. Uh, and the students who are still planning to enroll, I'll just show you our website, like how you can enroll uh, in the post result batch because we are offering 50% discount for the resetters. So, even if you're starting late, we count you as a resetter for no reason, okay, for no good reason. But yeah, there is a 50% discount going on. Yeah, come on, dude, I'm a human. Fine. So, this is www.tgprofs.com and uh, yeah, let me just reload it. There's some issue over here anyway. 
So you have to just visit tgprofs.com. And you will get a pop up. Okay. Yep. Just a bad network or so. Fine. So, this is how the website would be. It would be a way better thing for you. Uh, but you have to visit the website and there you will find the coupon code and everything to enroll. So make sure you apply the coupon code because there are so many times when students actually do not apply the coupon code and they think that the fees is too high. There is a coupon code. So come on, apply that and you'll save money. So don't forget to do that. So that is something that is very important. So all in all, in a nutshell, what you got from this session today is a 45 days plan Okay, that you have to follow. Uh, for concepts and then the next remaining in after 8th of August you'll get an ultimate planner which will include the question day wise questions that you can practice that is included then what we have is remain consistent I really believe so that many students they don't remain consistent like today they would start with full zeal you watch this video today and like Tashwita said that we will have to be consistent come on I'll study for 16 hours today I'll study for 8 hours today and then tomorrow the same thing then you just fall back and then you're like oh my god I'm not done this uh, you know you you hear to your heart so don't be led by your heart rather I would say lead your heart so it's it's like if you just think about procrastination, you will do procrastination. If you get swayed in emotions very easily, like let's not do it today, I'll do it tomorrow, then it's very difficult. So stay consistent. What the plan is given to you, stick to it without any default. Okay. So that is what is important. And this is like the last train which is leaving the station. Come on. This is the last train. I've already given you a plan when I started with SBR orientation way back in um, you know, when we started the September attempt in June, now it's July and this is the last train which is leaving the station. If you don't follow this one, there's no hope. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give up a thumbs up in the, uh, you know, the downward screen and make sure you comment down if you have any doubt and don't forget to download your uh, 45 days plan come on have a look at it i've given you a progress sheet also so make sure you use some kind of a green color you just get it printed paste it on a wall whenever you're done with something just stick it okay the number of ticks would increase and you would feel way better so that's it see you all in the next video thanks for joining in